Once you've got your new Mac, the first thing you'll want to do is transfer your photos, music, and other files from your PC. There are several ways to do this. If you buy a new Mac at the Apple Store, you can bring in your PC, and an Apple Genius will do it for you. If you want to move files on your own, you can use an external hard drive. First, transfer your files from your PC to the drive. Then, connect the drive to your Mac. When the icon appears, click on it. A window will open that shows you what's on the drive. Next, go to the File menu and select New Finder Window. Now, you'll have two windows open, one showing the contents of your external drive, the other is the home folder on your Mac. Inside your home folder are folders labeled Music, Pictures, Movies, Documents, and more. You can drag the appropriate files from your external drive directly into these folders. To move your music into your iTunes library, first open iTunes. In the File menu, choose Add to Library. When the dialog box opens, navigate to the Music folder and click Open. iTunes automatically organizes your library for you. You can move your photos into iPhoto the same way. Just launch iPhoto and choose Import to Library from the File menu. Then choose the folder containing the photos you want to add from your external drive. Click Import. You can also transfer email messages, contacts, and address books. This is easy, but takes a little bit more explaining, so it's best to follow the detailed instructions on apple.com. Once you've got your files transferred, you can customize your Mac with all your preferences. The System Preferences panel, which you get to by clicking on this icon, lets you set your preferences for many of the built-in applications that come included on the Mac. Let's go through some of them and see how they work. To change your desktop picture, click on the Desktop and Screensaver icon. You can choose an image from one of the built-in image folders, or click on the Pictures folder to choose one of your own images. To set your screensaver, click on the Screensaver tab. Select a screensaver from the left pane. Again, you can use one of the built-in screensavers, or you can use your own photos in a slideshow. You can test it out by clicking Test. When you like it, just close the window, and you're done. From the Dock System Preferences, you can adjust the dock size, the position on your desktop, and the icon magnification size. To add favorite applications, files, folders, or websites to the dock, just select what you want to add from the finder, then drag it to the dock. You can also create a stack, which is a collection of files you can have right on the dock for easy access. You can drag any folder to the right of this line, and it will create a stack. To delete items from the dock, simply drag the icon off the dock, unclick, and a puff of smoke will let you know it's been removed. But don't worry, the application or file or folder does still remain on your hard drive. You can create individual user accounts or even a guest account for temporary users. Each person who uses your Mac can have a separate home folder and can adjust his or her own preferences without affecting other users. Just go to System Preferences and click on Accounts. Click Add and type the new user's name and password information. You can create several individual accounts this way, one for each member of the house. They will each have their own settings for the desktops, files, and applications. You can also click on the Parental Controls tab to determine what each user can do on your Mac. If you need help with basic settings on your Mac, click on the desktop or the Finder icon in the dock. Mac Help in the Help menu should answer most questions. You can also go to any Apple store and talk to a genius or search the support forums on apple.com support.